Okay, now question three tutorial. A gas of volume uh, 0 0.02 meter cube at a pressure of 2 exponent 5 pascal undergoes an isothermal compression. Okay, if the final pressure is 4 exponent 5 pascal, what is its volume? Okay, so first of all, we have um, we have the initial volume, okay, we put as V1, and we have also the uh, initial pressure, P1, undergoes a isothermal uh, compression. This is the process, isothermal compression. And then we have the final pressure, okay, this is the final pressure put as P2, and ask for the final volume, V2. Okay, so this looks like Boyce Law to me, yeah? Okay, so we have the final pressure and need to find the final volume. Okay, so uh, let us uh, list down the information. I like to put in columns. Okay, so the initial, this is the initial and this is the final. So the initial, we have uh, V1 okay, and VP1. Okay, check, is it in SI unit? We must make sure uh, all in SI unit. Yeah, meter cube, Pascal, Kelvin. Everything must be in SI unit. And then for, uh, on, uh, for the final situation, we have the final pressure, okay, P2, okay, also in Pascal, good, in SI unit. So ask to find the final volume. Okay, so uh, what law do we use? Uh, what equation do we use? Okay, first of all, it tells us this is an isothermal compression. Isothermal compression. So first of all, we must identify we must identify uh, what is constant. Uh, what is constant? So from the name itself tells us isothermometer. Isothermometer. Same temperature. Okay, same temperature. So that means the temperature is constant. Temperature is constant. So uh, since temperature is constant, temperature does not change. Uh, temperature does not change. Yeah, just uh, look back to the equation uh, PV equal to nRT. Uh, uh, no need to think about the norm, no need to think about the uh, the number of mole. Okay, just think about the pressure, volume, and temperature. Pressure, volume, and temperature. So now isothermal. Isothermal process means the temperature is constant, same temperature. Iso thermometer, same temperature. So constant temperature. So temperature is constant. So only the pressure and volume changing. Because temperature is constant. Temperature is constant. Okay. So only the pressure and volume changing. So when pressure only pressure and volume changing, the formula will be PV P1V1 equal to P2V2. Okay. When temperature is constant, only the pressure and volume changing. So the formula will be P1V1 equal to P2V2, which is Boyce law. So isothermal, isothermal process is actually Boyce law. Okay? Uh, because constant temperature. So only the pressure and volume changing. Okay, so P1V1 equal to P2V2. So now let us uh, substitute all the information. Make sure all in SI unit before we substitute, especially the temperature. If temperature must be in Kelvin. Okay? All right, let us substitute and, and our work will be finished. Okay, so pressure one is uh, 2 uh, exponent 5 Pascal. Volume one is uh, 0 0.02 meter cube. Good. And pressure two is a uh, 4 exponent uh, 5 Pascal, also in SI unit. And volume two, that's how we get volume two. So what is our volume two? So our volume two is a uh, our volume two is a uh, zero point zero one meter cube. Uh, all right. So that's our final volume. Okay. So the, uh, you understand? Just use the Boyce law for isothermal process. That's our final volume. Okay. Let us now move on to question four.